All right, welcome back along our journey of learning Python. Uh, this series is based off of Black Hat Python and uh, some of the stuff in that pretty old book that we're going to be translating into Python 3 in the more modern way of coding in Python. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. In the last video, uh, we covered the TCP client. We're going to be doing a UDP client in this video just, just for completeness here, right, to show you how they how they differ. It's not too much different, but there are some key distinctions. Now, remember, with the TCP protocol, that is a connection-based protocol, right? That's where the syn, synac, ack uh, requests come into play. Uh, if you ever, you know, sniff the packets off the network using uh, Wireshark, you'll see uh, these come through, right? And, and the connection gets established after after that three-way handshake, as they call it, right? But with UDP, uh, there is no such uh, connection that is made before data transfer, right? Uh, it stands for user datagram protocol. You simply just send the data uh, via UDP. And uh, this is really useful when you need, you don't really care so much about the reliability of if you have a drop packet, it's fine. You're more concerned with... Uh, having things go through pretty quickly, right? If you think of voice over IP, right? When you're talking to people uh, over the internet, that uses the UDP, uh, that uses UDP, right? And so let's just go ahead and uh, jump into this here then. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the socket module. And that's going to, you know, same as we did last time, it's going to give us access to all the socket functionality that we need to, to work with IP, uh, an IP and a port address, right? Because that's all a socket is. Uh, we're going to specify a target host. We're just going to say uh, that it's our own local IP address here. So this one you may be familiar with, the loopback address. And we'll take port 80 as they have as well. That should be just fine. But the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to create a socket object and uh, this was what we, we did before with TCP, but it's going to be slightly different when we're dealing with UDP. So just keep that in mind. We'll still define a variable known as client, and we'll do a socket.socket. Uh, socket uh, and here's where it differs. If I, can, if I can type it correctly here. AF, INET, everything is the same so far, but here is where it differs. Socket.sock underscore dgram and this is something you can just memorize again same with the tcp just memorizes for udp or you could just reference it right or sorry not you don't have to memorize any of this stuff really you, you just reference it right you can write this down in your notes and if you ever need to use it then you can reference it and yeah don't worry about memorizing it per se so now that we've established that what we're going to want to do is actually send some data here and so with that, you know, to give it some functionality, the data that we're going to send will first have to do client, you know, because that's where we define this connection here. Not really connection, but uh, the, the socket object, if you will. There is no connection because we're dealing with UDP. But we're going to do a send to, and then we're going to pass in whatever data we want to send. So this is test data, we'll say. And... Uh, then after that, we're going to supply it with a, you know, the target host, which is just our local IP here, or the loopback IP, I should say, and then the port, right? This is the socket. And so with that, uh, it should send it there, but we also want to be able to receive any response back. Now, in this example, there's not going to be a response back, but... Just for completeness, we'll include it. So if we want to receive some data, uh, we'll be able to do that. And to do that, we'll define two variables, data and address, ADDR. And it'll be a client dot v from. And as a rule of thumb, you can use 490, uh, 4096 in most cases, right? So we'll just do that here. And then we'll want to print that data uh, response that we get. So 
let's go ahead and try this out. Let's set up a listener on our machine here uh, using Netcat. And we will do U for UDP, L for listen, and P for port, tell it port 80. And now that we're listening there, let's just go ahead and try to run this script. And all right, it looks like we do have a minor typo here. Uh, okay, yeah, this is what I ran into last time as well. Uh, this We're going to have to turn this into a, a bytes rather than just a string. And so in the original example in Black Hat Python, with Python 2, I think this might have been a little bit different. It could just be a string. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to make that adjustment here. I think it would be here. All right. And there you go. This is test data. So we just had to add a B here to indicate a uh, bytes-like object instead of a string. So hopefully this was of help to you guys showing you the UDP side. Not too much different than TCP here. Main difference is this part here uh, is different you know, for UDP instead of TCP. And there is no client.connect because it's a connectionless protocol. So you know, if you like this video, if you watched to the end, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button to help get this video series out there to other people that might be interested in learning Python uh, for offensive security. And I will see you guys over in those videos. Thanks for watching.